Home security is getting increasingly accessible, and systems are generally pretty good at integrating with smart home ecosystems. That is, of course, if your smart home ecosystem is Google Assistant or Amazon's Alexa. Generally speaking, there aren't many smart security systems that integrate with HomeKit. But there is Abode, which offers the Abode IOTA security system. IOTA is a security hub and camera built into one, and it works with other Abode built devices, like a window or door sensor, key fob, and more. But should you buy the Abode IOTA for yourself? Or should you go for a better known option like Simply Safe or Ring and forego the HomeKit compatibility for now? I put the Abode IOTA to the test to find out. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. The overall design of the IOTA is sleek and stylish, and the devices should look great in, in any home. Obviously, the main piece of the puzzle is the base station, which is a two-colour column with the camera sensor on the top half and a speaker cover on the bottom half. And on the back, there's a power input and an Ethernet port. On the front is an LED light to indicate the status of the system, and it'll turn blue when you're in home mode, amber in away mode, red when the alarm is triggered, and white when the system is in standby mode. With the basic IOTA package, you'll also get a door sensor and a key fob. If you've been following my videos recently, you'll know that I've been testing quite a few security systems, but the door sensor that comes with the IOTA is probably the sleekest and most subtle. That's thanks to the fact that it's pretty flat, though of course, the result is that it doesn't have extra features like the button on the Nest Detect that lets you quickly open the door or window without alerting the system. The other part of the system is the included key fob, which is a little chunky for some, but will be fine for others. I try to keep my keys as lightweight as possible, so the key fob didn't really help in that regard, but you don't have to use the fob if you don't want to. Using the device, you can arm or disarm your system as you come and go. Setting up the IOTA may be an easy process for most, but I did run into a few issues. While you can use the IOTA over Wi-Fi once it's set up, the setup process requires you plug the device into your router with the included ethernet cable. Unfortunately, the included ethernet cable was pretty low quality and I actually couldn't set up the system with it. After swapping it out with another cable I had, it can connected to the internet and worked fine. The setup process in general involves downloading the Abode app and creating an account, after which you can manage your system and control devices. The quality of the camera is quite good and better than many other security systems out there. It has a 1080p resolution and details are clear and concise. Sure, it's no 4K video that you'll want to start using for filming YouTube videos, but with a 157 degree field of view, an infrared LED for night vision and so on, it should be more than good enough for most. Of course, perhaps one of the best things about the Abode IOTA is the fact that it works with HomeKit. Actually, it works with a huge range of smart home ecosystems, including Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, HomeKit, If This Then That, LifeX, and more. I mostly tested the system with HomeKit, through which you can actually see and control individual devices. Meaning, for example, you can use the door sensor to trigger lights or the motion sensor to trigger a smart switch turning on. It's pretty cool that it does this, as many other security systems are self-contained and don't really integrate as well beyond with basic voice assistant controls. You don't have to use the IOTA with a smart home ecosystem though, and in fact, it works pretty well just through the Abode app. Once your system is set up, in the Abode app you'll be able to see a feed of your video camera, see a timeline events, control settings, and so on. Unfortunately, many of these features are locked behind a paywall, including smart home integration. In other words, if you want to see a timeline, see a history of video footage, or use the device with your favourite smart home devices, you'll need to pay. There are two plans on offer, a standard plan, which is $6 per month and offers smart home integration, video storage and more, and a pro plan which adds actual professional monitoring and a cellular connection in case there's a power outage that takes your Wi-Fi down. You can also control the system through a web portal, which offers many of the same features as the app. You might even get more settings in the web portal, so if you really want to manage your system and can't find what you're looking for in the app, then it's worth checking out the portal instead. I'll admit, it's a little frustrating that you can't use smart home integrations without paying a fee, and it's one of the main downsides of the system as a whole. Still, despite that, and if you don't mind shelling out the monthly fee, the Abode IOTA is a great system. The fact that the camera and the base station are built into one will be nice for some, and not so nice for others that would prefer to hide away a base station than have a smaller camera in their home. But it's still a relatively fresh take and the base station looks nice anyway. Of course, the best reason to buy the system is the smart home integration. You can buy the Abode IOTA security system for yourself using the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching and again, please hit the like button and subscribe if the video was helpful to you. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya.